Let's go take a look and see how simple it is to integrate Xero with workshop software. First up, we go into our profile from this menu. This is where we set up our company details. If we scroll down, you'll notice that there's a button there that says Authorize Xero. If I click on that button, it will open up my Xero account. I may need to log in at this stage, but if you've already logged in, it will ask you which company you want to authorize. So you choose your company. In this case, I'm going to authorize the demo company, but you would normally authorize your actual whatever company you use. So that will then return you back to workshop software. So now what you need to do is you actually now need to enter in all of these GL accounts and your tax rate as depicted here. So put all that detail in, come down to the bottom and save, and it will say save successful. So now let's go and have a look at what happens when we are actually integrated into Xero. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into customers and we're going to add a new customer and see that this customer automatically goes directly into workshop software. So I'm going to type in Mary Smith and put in all of her details. Once we enter in all of her details, we can scroll down to the bottom here and click save, and that will add them in as a record into not only workshop software, but that has now automatically gone into zero. Let's go take a look. So if we jump into zero and go into all contacts, if you go to M, you will see that Mary Smith is automatically in there straight away. That took no, no time at all. That's, that's seamless integration. So let's now go back into workshop software and what we're going to do is we'll go and create a customer invoice for Mary and I show you how simple it is to create an invoice which is really easy. I'm going to put four hours of labor in it and process it and yes. And now let's jump into work into zero and have a look and that invoice will be directly in zero too. So if we just click on Mary Smith's account You'll notice that there is the invoice for $436. If we look at recent invoices, you'll see that there is this invoice here is automatically in there. It's invoice number, that's workshop invoice 2010, has automatically been put into the system into zero. So, you know, you can just have your operations, just doing your operational work through workshop software, doing all the invoices and everything like that. Your accounting or, or admin person can do all of their admin and accounting in, in, in zero. They don't need to worry about what happens in operations and operations don't need to worry about what happens in zero. And as you can see, it takes a few seconds to set up and a few seconds to integrate and then it's just seamless from there on. So straightforward.